Evening, welcome to our service of Compline. Let's <coughs> come before the Lord and close this day. Lord, that it has been the blessings, the joys, the challenges, the opportunities, and the things that have perhaps just downright confused us. Let's come before the Lord and pray. Holy Spirit, we invite you, come, fill our hearts, touch our lives, inspire us, help us to recall all this day has been, help us to understand all that we have seen before us. Lord, we still ourselves and we come before you now, examining all that this day has been bringing all before you. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and the perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A moment of reflection on the day coming to its close. And as we think of the things of this day, we come before the Lord and we pray as one. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us <coughs> to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your light hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. 
I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was <coughs> in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <coughs> Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Father God, for all that this day has contained, we give you thanks. We praise you for the things of this day, for the beginnings and the endings, for the challenges, for the opportunities, for the moments when we realise that we as people get things so very wrong, so very confused. But Father, we come before you this night confessing that we, we fail so often to be in relationship with you and with others. And Father, as this day has perhaps demonstrated globally, as this day has demonstrated perhaps locally. We humans find it so hard to relate to 
those around us, to our neighbours, to ourselves, to our creation, which around us is beautiful and before us is marred. Father God, we come before you this evening. Lord, we ask that you would build relationships in us, that you would strengthen the relationships we have with others, with you, and Lord, in ourselves, we would be whole. We would be people who know you, who worship you, and in confidence of your relationship with us, enter into relationships with others. So Lord, as we thank you for those we know and love this night, as we thank you and pray for those who have touched us in some way, who we have touched in some way. Hopefully we pray for good. Lord, we commend to you tonight those who have departed this life. We pray for a man called Alexander Zavarodny, a man who rushed back to defend his country and having fought and cared for his country today gave up his life for it Lord may he rest in peace and rise in glory we pray for a woman who loves and serves you sister Marjorie Jones who is coming to the end of her life for Derek in palliative care, John's brother, Brenda's husband. We pray for George and his health and for Moa, she cares for him. And we pray for all who are approaching the end of life. Father, we thank you that at this time when we take up that cross, deny ourselves, Lord, that we, we head towards Good Friday, and Easter Sunday makes resurrection, eternal life real for us. So we hold before you those we love, who we see no longer, those for whom we care, those for whom we pray. And as we do, we pray for a woman known to her friends as V, whose husband died yesterday unexpectedly. We commend him to your grace, love, care and mercy. And we pray for V and for her church members and for her family and for all who stand and weep with her, as we did yesterday at Ian's funeral service, although distant. Father, we pray for those this night who are struggling with COVID, and we pray for Luke, having contracted it with a wife who is vulnerable. We pray for his illness and for her avoiding it. And we pray for those we know who have COVID this night. We pray for those we know who suffer from ME this night. We pray, Lord, that those who suffer from ME, such a terrible, debilitating illness, might know your presence and peace. And we pray, Father God, for those in our families, those on our hearts this night who struggle, we pray for Graham and his need for a transplant and for the diminishing efficacy of dialysis. We pray for Margaret as she 
continues her treatment and John as he cares for her. We pray for Pat and for his family. Father, we pray this night for the people we know who have needs, for those who are struggling to study, for those who are changing lives, especially for those clergy we know who are entering or engaged in their notice period before they leave for new pastures, new opportunities. We pray for the Shakespeare family and for the Cooley family and their needs. Lord, we pray for Olive and for Trish as they start life in a different direction, for June Cottrell and her family. We pray for Jane and Richard. <coughs> we pray for June. Karen and Sheila, and Molly and Mary and Heather, and Enid and Esteline. We pray, Father God, for the members of our churches everywhere, for Derek Jones and his recovery from a fall, for Josh Hidden and his needs, and for Harry and for Damien and for the directions of the changing and the water that is stilling, for Gillian, Simon and Luke, for the Holmes family, for the Mitchell family, for Philip and his family, his needs and for the needs of those he serves. We pray for a lady called Rebecca whose long Covid is taking its toll emotionally and in other ways and for Mel and her friend and Lord as the pop-offs celebrate a birthday today we pray for their safety and for the safety of all this night as things change and we pray for the healing of the nations as the United Nations become just that little less united. And Father, we look at the image before us this night and pausing to reflect on the triumphal entry, Jesus, <coughs> the cry of Hosanna ringing in his ears. Lord, as we head to this Sunday, we head to the praises which before we get to the end of the week will turn to the cry of crucify him. Father, we confess to you that we, when pressed, when stressed, when broken, when needy, will cry, why God? Lord, help us in our unbelief. Strengthen us in our struggles. Uphold us as we traverse the bumps. Lord, breathe your healing through us. May we challenge, may we question, may we examine the words spoken by others and ourselves, and in doing so not condemn others, not point the finger of contempt, Seek to understand, seek to grow, and to help others to grow. For building us a relationship with you, with each other, that this whole world might be one. Come to know your love, you might make it known. See how these Christians love one another. And so we sit back for a second and we ask for your love, your peace, your light in the lives of those nations, those people, those places that are on our hearts now. 
we pray that you would be God in their lives and in ours. Father, we pray for good men and women who, in offering their labour, find themselves employed by people who abuse, who misuse, and though speaking words of unity, result only in bringing brokenness. May the waves of your love rush over those beaches of our hearts and lives. But when the waves disappear, all is fresh, all is new, and the opportunities are before us. For Lord, as we stand at the foot of the cross with your Son, Jesus Christ, God made flesh, help us to see and know the love that you have for us so that in humility love and joy we may place all things at his feet all that we have all that we are all for whom we pray through jesus christ your son our savior amen we pray with confidence as our Saviour gave us the words. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline gentleness and peace. Amen. May the peace of the risen Christ be with you this night. May the love of God enfold you. May his spirit bring you to rest. And tomorrow may you wake rejoicing. Thanks for being with us, guys. May you sleep well. Good night.